Today we're taking a look at Drunk Fu Wasted Masters, a physics-based ragdoll brawler for the Nintendo Switch. This one over the years it's found a cult following, but does it do enough to earn a whole new audience as it joins the eShop? Well hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment with your thoughts below and with that, let's get this started. So before we do jump in, we will be giving away a couple of codes for this one on the North American store, so head to that description below to get your entries in. Let's talk gameplay. So Drunk Fu Wasted Masters, it's a curious little title. Gameplay here consists of loose physics and, well, basically poor controls to represent the drunk nature of your character. You'll essentially here get the option of stumbling around, dodging, a jump mechanic, a light attack and a heavy attack, all with the aim of the game being to knock your opponent out of the arena to rack up the most points and take victory. Now as gameplay goes it's definitely not taking itself seriously that's for sure and understandably so. It's aim, it's just nonsensical fun and I will say it achieves that pretty much at every level. The combat for the most part feels good, the attacks they work well, varying heavy attacks add flavour and then the jump mechanics are useful throughout. Unfortunately I wish the movement was more finely tuned though, I understand what they were trying to achieve here and what they wanted to represent. But what I found was it just, it was a little bit too loose to ever really feel like you were in complete control. And I'd find myself actually making silly mistakes and walking off platforms. It did end up leading to quite a bit of frustration for me. Now when it comes to gameplay modes, don't expect a story. Here, you basically get two choices, either local multiplayer with friends or bots, and then online multiplayer. In these modes then, we get four different game modes. Time limited, here we get points for knocking opponents out of the arena in a set time limit. One called free lives, this mode you get free lives, last one standing wins. King of the keg, it's king of the hill when you need to stand in a circle the longest. And then finally, swarm AI. You and bots or friends team up against swarms of AI players. While they're not usually different, you know, the, the end result's the same, knock people out of the arena, it definitely adds a good bit of variety for a game that's coming in under 10 bucks. For gameplay, I will say I wish they'd done more though to incorporate the levels themselves. Yes, they're all multi-platform, multi-tiered, but if you take a look at something like Gang Beast, not yet available on the Switch, here their worlds incorporate traps and things you can knock enemies into. I think it would have been a nice way to add a level of strategy to this whole experience. It's kind of lacking in that area of strategy right now. Unfortunately, what this means is Drunk Fu Wasted Masters is button mashing on those attack buttons. Outside of this then though, gameplay wise, that's, that's really it. It definitely has its problems. Yes, it's repetitive for sure. You're not gonna be, you know, playing solo, put it that way. And then the controls, as I said, they could do with some work, especially on that movement side of things. But overall, if you want some dumb fun instead of something super serious, this one, it might just be for you. Okay, so graphically speaking, I gotta say, I was actually surprised with this one. I did like quite a bit of it. Suitably over the top, what we get here are ragdoll characters that can be dressed up. The game actually features a pretty extensive customization suite to change clothing and features. And then the worlds, they're bright and colorful as you would expect of a game of this nature. The game, it just does a good job with its levels and of adding variants from beach bars through to helipads to my personal favorite, it was a diner. Each provides enough change to feel unique, at least visually. Overall, visuals here, they were slightly pixelated and rough around the edges compared to its other console counterparts, but for the most part it does exactly what it sets out to achieve, an over the top colourful world for our ragdoll warriors to inhabit. Outside of that, for graphics there's very little else to add except for a few basic menus and they just do their job perfectly and make navigation simple, that's all you can really ask for, so good work overall on the visual front. Last up, audio, and again, we don't have too much to talk about, but what we do have is decent. Music, while essentially, you know, short, repetitive loops, it matches the manic gameplay. The menus then have that fast pace we would expect leading up to the action, and then the sound effects, while occasionally low quality sounding, shall we say, they do enough to represent the attacks and the movement, at least. You know, when you have eight players all on screen swinging a punch, I think they could have probably done with a few more samples, as it all gets a bit overwhelming as you hear the same punch sound over and over again. But generally again, nothing amazing, nothing bad either, it's just kind of an average sound field. 
Okay, so Drunk Fool Wasted Masters joins the Switch and it's a niche title. Okay, so Drunk Fu Wasted Masters joins the Switch and it's a niche title, joining the eShop that right now is going to find very little competition. Overall, what we get here is a crazy experience which focuses on the fun and not the competitive elements of a brawler. Do not come here looking for a serious competitive brawler because I guarantee from the controls alone you will leave frustrated. This one is about smiling, having fun and joking with your friends, nothing more than that. What we do get here though is a decent amount of levels. We've got four game modes, a pretty decent character customization suite, and then online play and local. It's pretty good bang for its buck, as I said it's coming in under $10. Unfortunately though for me, the controls they're kind of lacking honestly, even when it's just meant to have fun with friends, and the worlds were nice to look at, they add very little to the experience, and I really do think that's a missed opportunity here. Today I'm awarding Drunk Foo Wasted Masters an above average 6 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, hit that subscribe button if this video helped you out in any way, the growth for the channel has been amazing recently, so thank you to everyone who's joined the family, and then with that, remember to head to the description below to enter and win one of three codes we're going to be giving away for Drunk Fu Wasted Masters. We'll see you all on the next Gaming X.